Good morning! It is not sunny out. It's supposed to be sunny today. <laughs> Everything is moist. The inside of the tent is moist. The outside of the rainfly is totally dry. It's actually a beautiful time to be pushing your bike up a mountain because that's what we're doing today. Isn't that exciting? We're gonna head right into that direction. I gotta put my arm down because I need to save it for the, all the pushing I'm doing. I just want to point out that these cows like walk through the hot springs and shit and piss. <laughs> so when you come here, yeah, you might want to keep that in mind. So this is Josh. I was, I was curious where your, you know, what your bike route was. So, right, so now you know. Pretty impressive what you're pulling off here. All these crazy people are doing. Yeah. So th it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Naomi. Yeah. <laughs> it, I was so glad people make the choice to stop. Just like Josh yesterday in the rain, he made the choice to pull over with the camper in the pouring rain, get in the rain. I need to get better. I didn't mean to shoot Josh just at the very end. He actually told a couple of great stories. I guess the cows aren't really supposed to be over there. There is a cow grade by the bathroom, so they're not supposed to be on that side walking through the hot springs and, and mushing them up. And so Josh said he was at his favorite hot spring and his, his like uncle or somebody has a cabin, little cabin by Smoky Bar where he slept last night. He said, oh, the Prius or Prius or something, I forget. It starts with a P, it's right before this one. You'll see it if you look it on the map. What well, is his favorite? <laughs> and that's the one that Josh, who picked me up yesterday, I think he was trying to find, I'd already passed it, but since it, I was hovered down, it was pouring rain, I was looking at signs. And he said, it's a deep tub, you like, can get into it, the water all the way up. And he's, Josh this morning said that he got in there this morning and just lay there for like a half an hour. It sounded so nice, but yeah, that's too bad. I missed the really cool one. Josh gave me some inspiration. This nice, you know, like worried about this climb and he'd driven it. He's, you can do it. It's, and it's gonna be stunning when you get to the top, so. Um, that was a great little message right before I head off. This is my concoction because everything was soaking wet just as wet as it was when I took it out of the water. Nothing dried overnight, so uh, I'm hanging. So my bike shorts inside out, more bike shorts, socks. My concoction, this thing with the rack and then the rubber just to keep some security of slippage. This whole thing with my tent, I love it. It's working out great. Now I haven't done super rocky. Maybe we'll get that today on our decline. A group of motorcyclists and then the cowboys herding these cows. I don't think they know where to go because maybe I'm confusing them. Somebody needs to make a choice. It's okay. Are you gonna charge me, Mama? It's okay, Mama. I know you got him. You got a cow in your belly. Screw it. I'm going barefoot. Cause I don't wanna get my shoes or my socks all mucky. I just saw a coyote. He just came out in the road. Oh, I see him by that tree. Let's walk and see if we can get him. Oh, beauty bug. He's told the cowboys that I saw coyote. He said they don't bother the cows. He said the wolves do, and there are wolves here. See this? You know what that is? That's a puncture. And the goop came out of the hole to fill it, and then the sand stuck to it. Which means, when I get to catch them, I need to get a new tire. Because I'm, I know some people are like, well, it's fine, it's filled, it's fine. I'm not going up into the white clouds with a puncture already. I wouldn't feel safe, because I still know that there's a hole that pierced that. And the stands that's in there, you know, that's not the, obviously the same as a tire. <laughs> you know, actual rubber. If you have a problem with seeing dead things, look away now. I heard they have these huge toads out here and I've already passed two that were run over 
And to give you perspective of how big he is, there it is. I'm starting to realize that I did this wrong. Oh, gotta be kidding me. It was like right after that line, I think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> the universe is like, yes, we're tipping your bike over. We're popping your knee. We're giving you flat tires. We're making your chain <laughs> make noises. We're sending thunderstorms. Why do you insist on continuing on this bike ride? And it was sitting there fine. Like I'm really good. Like I push on the bike, so I don't know. And we made your favorite item, your Roca's shades fall off your bike that would have made me turn around or not continue on but somebody saved them then we got rid of your swim trunks but then somebody saved it stop turn around stop turn around don't do this trip so the question is what is supposed to be happening some people say no it means the opposite it means push through that's that doesn't this does not feel like that at all. I should have shipped stuff to catch him to go into the white cloud. I think I was just thinking so much of the part north of Stanley, because that's when you sort of hit nothing when you start heading north. It would have saved me, especially starting out with a lighter bike, and then, you know, adding the weight as you go on, and you're getting, getting in better shape, right? Your heart, your lungs. I'm talking about physically how somebody looks. There could be a girl, a big girl, and we could be at the bottom of the stairs. We're both gonna have to do 20 flights, and she could kick my ass if her cardio is up to par. It, it, you know, people I love are like, but you, you're in shape, you're thin or whatever. Like, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with it. And when you come across stuff like this, be a kind person and kick it out of the road for motorcycles and other people so they don't get hurt. About a mile and a half from the summit, there's water and you could even camp here, like right there. We're almost there. My Garmin Forerunner says 7,700 feet, which means we're probably at uh, 8,000. We'll check at the top. We're gonna look at Gaia GPS, Rywa GPS, and um, my Garmin Forerunner and compare who has the accurate um, elevation based on topography map. See these peaks behind me? It's pretty, huh? <laughs> I love they have no bags, they just have a backpack on. Wow, there's like 15 people, all guys. Oh, there's a girl! There she is! Yay! <laughs> hey there! I just want to get the company up your Western Spirit Cycling Adventures. All right, there it is. Here's some perspective. That's piece of the road there, right in the middle of the screen. We were even lower than that. Here we are. This is how much climbing there is. We summited Dollar Hide. I feel like there should be a bell or something I'm allowed to ring. It would be very fulfilling. Just in time for maybe our fourth evening of a thunderstorm. Burned area. Beware of falling trees and limbs. Rolling rocks, flash floods, and Naomi's losing her speech, which means she's tired. It took me three hours, including a few stops. Look at this. Wow. Right? I mean, the storm rolling in, and look at these burnt trees and the sun. Oh, just stunning. All these cool peaks around here. Well, gosh, I like to just relax up here, but now that makes me nervous. Look at the cool spots of, almost looks like fire up there, it's not, but. All right, let's see who has accurate elevation. So it's saying Dollar Hide Summit is elevation 9,301. But the mountain, get ready, is there. That's Dollar Hide Mountain. And then the topography map is showing we're at like 8,700, which pretty much makes sense. My Garmin Forerunner 945 shows that we're at 8,380. 8, Gaia GPS says we're at 87. So Gaia has been very accurate with the topography, like almost right on. My Garmin Forerunner 
has been off by quite a bit, a few hundred feet. And this is the third time I'm checking this. I'm getting concerned about this storm. I better start rolling down this mountain because one thing about being up high is the wind. So let's start pedaling down because I'm hearing lots of thunder and lightning. My rain jacket and jacket just because it's going to be freezing going down because of all my sweat. And of course the helmet now. I'm so sad. Like I just can't seem to get to hang out. You know, I'm exhausted. I just got up to the top. You want to chill out and relax and enjoy it. And I got to rush down the mountain. It's so amazing up here. This is like my first spot that I'm in. I'm like, ah, I'm away. And I just want to sit and stare at all of it. I can't camp up here. It'd be too cold for my rain odds and stuff, especially if it's windy and rainy. I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't know, but I can't take that chance. So it's time to go down and go wee. Yeah, Mr. Chipmunk, geez, I don't get that over you. Look at this road going down. Oh, it's stunning. Oh, magnificent. I might be okay. They look like they're just going in another direction. we're gonna find a gorgeous spot tonight I hope so I haven't really been in anything that is amazing and here's more thunder coming remember all those black clouds we saw when we got stuck in hail well I sure am glad I was in hail instead of this it poured here I like my fingers the rain eyes when you feel cold your blood vessels contract to conserve Mine over contract, so they kind of stop blood flow. I could have put gloves on, I just didn't have time to, I was in a hurry to get down the mountain. So we're at 6,800 feet. I'd like to get down to 62. I think I'll stop before catching because it's, in a, it's an expensive town. I don't know what happened, so we'll just end early tonight. What? Wow, is there a lot of rain here. It's awesome though for all the animals and plants. Oh, see, I love this atmosphere with rock and open prairie and mountains and burnt trees. It's my favorite. Let's just take a moment and stare. Now that is cool. It's something like it, in school you would draw as a child if they said draw a mountain. Wow, look at that. I guess I won't have any drinking water. Somebody got a flat tire. Nice. Jason, it's the name of the guy who I just passed with the flat tire, said that the hot springs will be washed out and it's supposed to rain tonight. Here's one of them and yeah, there's no steam, but it might still be warm enough. The problem is the river is high. So yeah, I'm not gonna walk across that and there's really nowhere to put bodacious, but there's a little pool. Shoot, I see that there's a hot spring. This one's called Frenchman's, but there's something called Winslow just up ahead. So let's go. Wow, here's a big sign up on the left. So this is a thing, meaning like this is a place and I just noticed that there's actually like, see there's a one, another one there. Someone put a little hole and then it looks like here's maybe something, see the rock wall. I don't see any steam, which is what he's talking about. Ooh, but see it like percolating there cause it's coming up from the ground. See the bubbles? So I could, although it's all muddy and stuff. See, I wanted to do it where I was camping. I'm gonna go up and see this Winslow one that's on my 
Sky GPS map. It just should be right around this corner. Well, this is where it shows the Winslow one is, and it's showing this rope, but this looks like a private thing. I'm just gonna pull in and let someone yell at me, and they have a little camera, so hi. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think it's, uh, I think this is like a resort. Oh, that sucks. Look how beautiful this is. They shouldn't put this on the map. It's a hot spring. Oh, and there it is, I guess. Maybe down there for everybody. Oh, all right. We have to go back to where all the regular people, what all the regular people can afford. Oh, what a luxury. Oh, it's so nice to be on pavement. Can I put my tent on your porch? Shoot, I thought this was a little spot to camp, but I think I see a spot. And see, I thought I could go right in this cubby, but I'm looking at these trees and they're pretty skinny. I kept pedaling back down. The road is right there and there was like this little tiny pull off and I came in and it opened up to this muddy, wet mess. I'll still, I'm gonna use this water for cooking. But I'm just cold, I'm wet, and I could go closer and get a Verizon signal. Then I have to get on warm showers, and then I have to say, hey, I'm sorry for the 6.30 p.m. hello. But he might say no and just get closer to the signal and then have to bike back. I don't know what happens with this road. I know the guy said once you hit pavement, you know, get a spot before pavement. And, you know, they're all going to just be muddy and crappy right now. It would be nice if there was not, uh, pine needles or trees. I don't know what I'm doing right now at all. I just know I'm going to boil some water and eat some pasta. I decided to keep going. That one just felt so dirty to me. And I know they're all going to be like dirty, but I don't know. So I'm taking a chance now that I'll find something. It can't really be worse than what I was just at. It still is mud, but because it has grass, I left that one. I was starting to get scared actually that I made a mistake. Shoot, is this just a turnaround? No, here we go. All right, I'm done. I surrender. <laughs> Do you like my outfit? There's two more right after this. I have to go see. I'm cold and wet still. Nothing's changed. <laughs> you think I would just want to set my tent up. But that one, I have to get to water. I have to go through all this brush. And the ground is total mud which means like walking, you're walking in mud. There's nowhere to rinse off because in order to get to the water, you have to go on the muddy trail and it's a long trail. So I'm gonna check out these other two to see if they're closer to the water, the muddy water that we're gonna use to have our pasta. And right off the road, there's a little fire pit there. My tent maybe in the field next to it. Looks like there's some entrance thing up here. Let's go look and see if that's something. Look, there's a sign, so this might be like an official camp spot. I just want you to know, we have concluded the tour of all the campsites outside Ketchum. We have found an awesome spot. It has everything I was looking for. It has all the pine trees for the guy who was saying it might rain tonight. It has pine already down, so you're not putting your tent like into mud. I feel safe here, I feel good. I am so glad I kept pedaling. Time to cook some pasta with some muddy water. Totally dry here, because it's underneath two huge pine trees. I just have to clean enough debris that is the section of my tent. Sticks I can use as brooms. nice guy glad he stopped he said he was when, on his way past me the first time he said i was gonna stop i thought i don't want to come across as a predator and then on the way back i'm like well i'm glad he did because you know like i get that part of it but it's actually makes me feel looked out for and it's always men because men are the ones that are out here they're the ones you know they're on their atvs they got their toys they're 
or they're with their wives or their girlfriends. I haven't seen a woman by herself actually in her truck or AT or doing it's it's men. He was just talking about hunting. He's a big hunter and looking for elk marks and I forget what it's called, where they scratch their antlers on the tree because the hunting season starts in 29 days. Um, and the one thing that I was hoping he had, because he had a cooler, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I'm going to get fresh water. And he didn't have any water. He only had like Heineken. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was, oh, I should have grabbed the Heineken. I'm just so focused on making noodles. I just want I want my pasta so bad. So I, I, I'm going to do this. It's part of the experience. Like there's times you can't get clean water. So eventually at some point I'm going to be drinking money, water. It looks like I can go on this animal trail and it'll jump me by those logs so I can get water there. There has been water access all along. And then of course the one place, although I am not going to complain because I like my camp spot, but how am I going to do this? I can't balance on those logs right there. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't get down here, especially with my knee. I could hang on to this log. Let's see, I mean, geez, the animals can do it, why can't I? I don't want to get all muddy. Shit. I feel like I have to, because it's just my personality. Yummy. It's not so bad, it'll be fine. Yeah, baby, this is how it's done. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so dirty. That's where the sheet comes in handy because I can just get into the sheet and keep my sleeping bag clean because then it's so much easier just to wash a sheet. Instant mashed potatoes, bacon, cheddar with a little bit of mud. And you know what? It's delish. There's something about instant mashed potatoes. I only get them like for adventures, like when I'm out into nature. And whenever I have them, they're so good. On that note, good night. <laughs>